I'm insufferable. I'm just some dude that still has his old roommate's password. I'm gonna live forever. We are Binge Pipe! Coming soon to Binge Pipe. Binge Pipe will ignore safety protocols and launch You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. Ignore the rumors. Ignore them. Hey, I'm Cookie Masterson, and this is my friend Jake. He plays third chair clarinet for his middle school band. You'll be second chair next year, buddy. You know, with this many players, you'll lose some of the personal attention, so I just want to say, player six, I see you, and you matter. All right, here we go. First, the magic of the digestive process. I've been working on some magic skills lately, and watch me pull this scarf from my throat. <coughs> Ta-da! Since it's commonly known as the magic capital of the world, where did this never-ending magic scarf most likely originate? Colon, Michigan, Big Gut, Nova Scotia, Liverpool, England, or PP Township, Ohio? What'd you guys pick? PP Township is magical in its own special way. <laughs> this answer feels lonely. The little town of Colon, Michigan is the self-proclaimed magic capital of the world. Not the most important fact, but I really needed an excuse to say PP Township. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Coming up. For sure. Celebrities are just like us. They love cloaking themselves in garlands of animal fur for fancy winter parties. Which celeb is not wearing a member of the Mustelid family? Pink in Mink, Vin Diesel wrapped in Weasel, Cindy Sherman wearing Ermine, or Ghostface Killa in Chinchilla? I love this part. Um, excuse me. Why don't I save you all the embarrassment? Weasels, minks, and ermine all belong to the Mustelid family, while a chinchilla is a rodent. <laughs> Just a friendly reminder that if you turn your ferret into a coat, it's irreversible. I wish someone had told me that 20 minutes ago. Why do we do it with three? Here's one for you. First, Housewives Club. Are we all gathered? Good. It's time for Dis or Dat. I'm gonna list off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a tagline from one of the real housewives of New York City, or a quote from famous first lady Eleanor Roosevelt. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between Real Housewives or Eleanor Roosevelt. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Okay, let's do it. Happiness is not a goal, it's a byproduct. I never feel guilty about being privileged. you feel inferior without your consent. If you can't handle the truth, you can't handle me. I'm living the American dream one mistake at a time. like a tea bag. You can't tell how strong she is until you put her in hot water. I plan for the future but live in the moment.
Y'all kind of stunk up the place. But player eight, you really whizzed that disser dat down your leg. Customer satisfaction seems to have dipped. Sounds like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, apparently. You're welcome, devoted customer. I don't need you anymore. Coming up next... The international struggle is real. What's an example of a First World War problem? Hitler invaded Poland on my birthday. The Battle of Midway is... Brace yourself. Player 8 decided to screw. Time to take a long, hard look in the mirror. Hope you like what you picked. I shouldn't take it personally, didn't really listen to anybody. The assassination of Archduke Ferdinand marked the start of World War I. It also marked the end of our relationship. I will not speak to him anymore. Nicely screwed, playwright. Enjoy your cash. I call this one a community first, a business second. Who wrote that track? Binge Pipe recommends. Because you showed interest in Polaris and Vega, we thought you'd like Dancing with the Stars, RuPaul's Drag Race, Shark Tank, or Duck Dynasty. Okay, what'd you pick? Uh-oh. No, no, I'll get it. Polaris and Vega are the names of stars in our galaxy, so dancing with the stars would be what you want. If there aren't YouTube stars named Polaris and Vega, then what are we all doing? <laughs> Round one is history. How's everyone doing? Currently, player eight is in the lead. Everybody got that? Good. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. Time and fun stops for no one. Six trombones is not a parade. There is no hiding from Solo Cup, a Star Wars beverage. If mysterious bounty hunter Boba Fett was secretly made up of Boba tea, what would be part of his anatomy? Caramel balls, tapioca balls, ginger balls, or ice balls? Okay, let's take a look. You might be thinking of Ron Howard. Well, nobody got this one, so um, let's just move on with our lives. Boba tea comes with little tasty tapioca balls. And once again, when a question lets you say the word balls a lot, you grab that opportunity by the tapioca. How about this one? Five-hour mystery. You know, Sherlock Holmes was never one to shy away from, uh, performance enhancers. Chugging which of these very real energy drinks would most likely help Sherlock Holmes solve the mystery of the death of Charles Baskerville? Monster the Doctor, Monster Ripper, Monster Mad Dog, or Monster Rehab? Okay, who chose what? The cause of death was rehab. Watch how easy this is. Spoiler alert, it turns out Charles Baskerville was scared to death by a very large and angry dog. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Here we have Game Delayed by Wardrobe Malfunction. And uh oh, chest strut fits lime floor. It's time for a. 
Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, focus up. Look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what TV show title it rhymes with. Stop, ref. Moon her. And don't let that punctuation fool you. They're very young. But they're great cooks. Child food expert. I think we were all thinking it. Oh, and play rage. I saw what you typed. Okay, it didn't escape me, but it's just odd that this is still a thing for people. Back in the day, it was like, oh my god, you type this in, and then he talks to you. Yes, it was groundbreaking in the 90s. I mean, so was air travel at one point. But today, is anyone like, it's not possible for this thing to be up in the sky? Anyway, if you want an Easter egg so bad, look at your device. Now, back to the game. Try this on for size. The hills are alive with the sound of math. Suppose the Von Trapp family shared a Netflix account. If Georg and Maria had a joint profile, how many of their kids would be excluded from having their own profile? Seven kids, five kids, three kids, or one kid? Let's see how that shook out. That's correct for a totally different question. Here's the right one. Netflix allows up to five profiles on a shared account. There are seven Von Trapp children, so three of them would be left out here. Which means little Gretel will be ruining everyone's algorithm with all those Paw Patrol episodes. Introducing Dead White Guys. Which of these dead white guys is the deadest white guy? Napoleon, Claude Monet, Thomas Jefferson, or Fyodor Dostoevsky? Who picked what? <laughs> you fell for a made-up name. What? He's real? Oh, still wrong, though. <laughs> Napoleon died in 1821, Jefferson died in 1826, Dostoevsky in the 1880s, and Monet in the 1920s. So Napoleon is the deadest white guy. But the whitest dead guy? That's gotta be Monet. That motherfucker is so white, when there's a blizzard, people are like, what's the weather outside like? Monet is blocking the view. Time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I do. Or, I did. I hope you remember who's been married to whom. It starts to add up. Luck.
8 takes it! Wow, Player 8, you are the definition of an underachiever. And yet somehow your friends are even worse at this than you are. But at least we all had fun. And if you buy that... You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Cookie Masterson's stand-in. Cookie has a lot of commitments besides You Don't Know Jack, like personal appearances and promoting his line of Japanese hair products. I read all the questions first so the engineers can test the game. Then Cookie re-records them later. Take a listen. If Janelle Monet used the same technique as Claude Monet. If Selena Gomez married Gomez Adams. If Chris Pine could only eat pine cones. It's hard work and nobody gets to hear it, which is why it... Hey, Matt, what are you doing in here? I was just doing an interview for the game. Yeah, well, I'm here now so you can get out. Yes, Mr. Masterson. <sighs> okay, where'd we leave off? Ah, which is why it's so great to finally record something that won't get cut from the game. There, done. We good? Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content. Mm -hmm.